episode of MHN Today TV. Like I said in the first episode, we've had many changes to the podcast this year. Yep, we've got a new intro, many new segments, and some new members. I think they did a great job this month. Let's give them a round of applause. I sat down with senior Aaron Paulson to talk about the varsity volleyball team in this month's sports talk. So what, do you, what position do you play and what is the role of that position? I play outside hitter, which is hits from the left side of the net, and my role is to block their right side and cover tips from the other side. How have you guys improved from the beginning of the season to this point in the season? We've been able to work on the little things. We've been playing less competitive teams so far that have given us the opportunity to see what we need to work on individually and as a team. like. Uh, Transitioning, serving, things like that. So do you guys think your tournament play isn't as strong as your actual season play? Or has it not been the season? The tournament play we had played, we played in, was a lot higher competition than what we've been used to. So it was definitely a jump to better teams. Well, what do you think makes your team successful? I think we're so successful because we are all so close and we stayed close. We do things together and we just work well when we're getting along. <laughs> Looking forward, what is what do you hope the rest of the season gives you? I hope we can um, keep going strong as we are now and win districts and go on to what we haven't done before. Do you think you guys can go on to state? It'll be a challenge, but I think we can work hard and get there. From Powder Pelt to Homecoming, lots of cool stuff went on this month. Did you miss it? Have you seen this new TV? It was installed earlier this month and will every day be showing a PowerPoint presentation of the announcements. I know I'll be watching it. Right now I'm standing outside the gym where the plan test was taken on the 8th. Sophomores were forced to endure cold temperatures throughout the entire test and many were seen wearing very heavy clothes. It was apparent that they were very relieved once the test was over. On Thursday the 15th, the JV boys soccer team played against Fort Sumal West. Though the team fought valiantly, they were defeated with a score of 1-0. to zero. Hi, I'm coming at you now from the St. Peter's Recplex, where, in about an hour, our Knights will be swimming against the Francis Howell Central Spartans men's swim team. We will be swimming the butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, freestyle, individual medley, along with relays tonight. Go Knights! Here I am at the annual Powder Puff game. Looks to me like the juniors and senior girls are ready to square off in a great game. Also looks to me like the crowd pleasers are ready to cheer them on to victory. Oh after a night of fierce football, the seniors triumphed with a score of 126 to 99. 1-2, two, 1-2. Two. Here I am at the football field for the annual homecoming game. This year, the Knights will face off against Oakville Tigers. Last year, the Knights won by 40 to 19. Let's hope they do just as well. Here I am in the gym for the annual homecoming dance put on by Stuco. They've done a great job setting up for this year's theme, Knights Around the World. Students are already lining up outside to have a great night full of dancing and fun. Now back to you, Christina. It's the one week a year when wearing your clothes backwards is cool. The one week a year when seniors get to participate in the toga tradition. The one week when the halls are flooded with greens, purples, blues, and reds. No one could say better than these guys. <laughs> Monday the 19th was Animal Print Day. I dressed up because I think people should be enthused about being at school and make it fun while you're here. Tuesday was the Around the World Day, which was the theme of this year's homecoming. I decided to dress up today because not a lot of people here like to show school spirit and I just think it's exciting and a fun way to get through the day. Wednesday the 20th, junior and senior girls dressed up in their powder puff uniforms and everyone else dressed backwards. Juniors are going to win! Juniors! Juniors! <laughs> Obviously, seniors are going to win. <laughs> Following that was Black and Gold Day, and seniors got to make and wear their own togas. And to finish off the week was Class Colors Day. 
<laughs> Sophomores rule. Go one, two. Go juniors. Freshmen rule. We had a great spirit week, guys. Thanks for participating. I can't wait till prom spirit week. Now here's We the People. didn't affect me very much because I was really young and I don't remember most of it. 9-11 affected me by just we, the state having fear of terrorist nations, you know, coming to our country, threatening us. 9-11 didn't really affect me because I don't really remember anything happening and um, I remember everybody else being affected by it and everything changing like um, all the U.S. flags being brought in and um, everyone being really Pro, like having a lot of pride for the country. Uh, it kind of affected me by just all the people dying and everything. It was like, it's really a bummer and like really sad, but it really like brought our country together and like united us even more than we were already were united. Okay, so we had a really good episode. Um, I like the two camera thing you did with your interview. Thank that you. That was cool. And I thought the new transitions were just spectacular. Oh, thank you, Dan. <laughs> If you didn't get a newspaper this month, come by 026 and pick one up. And you guys should go to FHNAday.com and watch Sarah Tison's story on the volleyball superstitions. It's pretty good. Don't forget to check out the many photo galleries on FHNAday.com. Okay, guys. Well, this has been the September episode of FHN Today TV. Check back at the end of October for the next one. See ya. See you guys. Bye.